Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you and I'm super excited to share this with you. Um, I found some fun stuff and let's get to it. Uh, first and foremost, I did find the rose scented bath bomb thingy bath sponge. I love sponges like this and this one feels nice and full. We're gonna open it because this is for me. Um, I use these in the shower pretty much every day. Maybe we're going to open it or not. Okay, not opening it, but I, there's a hole in it. I smell rose. I'm not a huge fan of fake rose, but I smell it. So I grabbed this for me. I bought it because it's nice and full. I don't like the cheapy ones, but I'll use them. So I found that um, in the crafting section. I found, and I think it's just two separate colors. Yeah, I took the plastic off one to show you. I found faux leather ribbon. What the heck? It's fake leather, but how fun would that be to embellish something? I love this earthiness of it. And I'm kind of loving like the Scandinavian kind of boho farmhouse feel. And I think this was gonna go with it. So I grabbed four, my store was fully stocked, the one store that I found these at. So I grabbed two of each color and you're getting three yards of each. So I grabbed the dark, I think there may be more colors, but this is what I found. Two of the dark brown and two of the light brown. So I grabbed those. While I'm looking at those, I also purchased rubber bands. I use rubber bands in my craft room. I'll show you, I'm not opening up this, but I will put a rubber band around here and it holds my ribbon. I used to stick needles and pins, but it got cumbersome, but the rubber bands don't stick out. And when I stick them in their spot, they'll have a rubber band around it and it keeps the ribbon from unspooling. I had a bag up in my craft room, I had a couple years and they really dried out. So I'm hoping these are, these will last a little better. I just got the beige. They're great for crafting, but mainly what I use them for is storing ribbon. Oh, and my um, Cricut vinyl and the spools. I put rubber bands around those just to kind of keep everything contained. I found, this is an author that I love, J.R. Ward. This is a, a book series she came out with. I think this is the second book if I had to guess. Yes. So the, oh, this is the third book. Yeah, this is the third book in this series. The series is called The Bourbon Kings. So The Bourbon Kings is the first book. The Angel Share is the second, and this is the third book, The Devil's Cut. I love this author and I do collect her books, so I was excited to find this one. I um, mean, Sarah, for my birthday, found another series that she has started but there's only a couple books out in it and I don't know if it's gonna continue, but it's called, um, it's not even in here. I don't know the, the book series, it's about firefighters. And she got me that, but I love this author. Her name is J.R. Ward. If you're into any type of like paranormal romance, vampire, this one's not vampires, this is Bourbon Kings. There's a little, um, paranormal in here but not a lot but her other series the black dagger brotherhood i love that series i collect all of those books including i get some signed copies because i just love it yeah but i love her so i'll read that i'm trying not to spend money this year but i will buy those books no doubt about it i grabbed one more of these tissues i really enjoy their little gold hearts and i use it for different things it's tissue paper, guys, you know, tissue paper. I picked up for my craft room a three pack of rulers. I use them fairly regularly in crafting and my other clear one broke. So I just picked up a three pack. Nothing, nothing fancy, but I just needed it. Um, for sending out giveaways, I grabbed just some Dollar Tree bubble wrap. I did find some more fabric and this is the sloths because <laughs> I like sloths. 
I haven't done anything with any of this fabric, but it is in my to-do list. These, because of their fat quarters, these are will make project bags for my knitting. They could also make pillowcases. Um, they could make travel bags. There's lots of little projects I can do with two fat quarters. So I'm in no rush. Um, I also, for my craft room, found two, two of the wooden heart placards. Uh, my plan is to put feet on these and use them as risers. Um, you know, for crafting and things of that nature. I wonder if that just went blurry because my phone just went blurry, but um, for risers, I'm gonna use them mostly for either my tear tray or my mantle. I know they're heart shaped, but honestly, when they're flat like that, you wouldn't necessarily know unless you wanted to know, but I thought these would be perfect for that. So I grabbed two of those and I found two more of these butterflies. Now, I looked online, they sell this by the case, but they come with the butterflies, the unicorn, and something else. But I would just check in your crafter square section, they were just hanging there, so I have three now, and I'm gonna do something, probably decoupage them if I had to guess, for spring. I'm not gonna do anything until spring, so that'll just get put away. But you know, like I know, if you're at the Dollar Tree, and you see something, you should pick it up. Um, I did get a couple Bolero items. These are the body wipes. Um, I'm going to test these out. I was talking to my niece, Sarah. We do have our plan to travel again someday when we're free to roam about the world. And wouldn't these be fantastic in your carry-on luggage? I think you can do that. These wouldn't... I'm not sure that these are considered liquids but wouldn't these be fantastic for a flight or a long car ride so we're gonna try them out see if we like them um i did get the grapefruit lime and the eucalyptus cedar also in the spring when i'm riding my bicycle i you know when i because i don't ride from my house i typically take my bike somewhere and ride and these would be fantastic to wipe you know the sweat off my face because sometimes it gets like crystallized so it would be nice so i'm gonna try these out because I think they're fun. That was for my th thumbnail. Let's get it all done. I found these. I'm gonna tell you right now, they're selling almost the identical same thing except for their plain brown beige in the Target dollar spot, not for a dollar. I'm putting this in my car. I have a large one that I keep in my car that holds my, um, when I go to like, all or not all the but when I go to Costco or Aldi Costco or bring my own grocery bags I have a large one of these that holds my smaller bags this is going to be perfect for like car cleaners things like that but in the summer with my bike uh, putting my helmet in here my gloves in here those wipes everything I need to keep in the car for when I'm riding my bicycle because I have to take stuff. Like I need gloves, I need a helmet, I need water, I need wipes, I need things. And this is gonna be perfect. And so I grabbed that color and then I also grabbed it in black and white. Uh, may end up on my laundry room. I'm sitting on my dryer holding all my stuff. But I grabbed two. Um, I only saw these at two of my Dollar Trees. But these are great, great quality. I found some candy. This is for Sarah's Valentine's gift, and I'll show you the bucket that I'm putting together. But these are the Valentine Junior Mints. She likes those, and the little itty bitty hearts. Just, I'm only getting her a little bit of candy. Um, and I'll show you what I put together when I do her, bas her bucket basket for Valentine's Day. And it's usually Valentine's birthday, and then I get her something for her birthday. So there's that. I did find one more pack of these and I grabbed it because look at those hearts. I hope you can see these. This is a four pack of perfect hearts. A couple of them weren't so perfect. That's okay. But I found these and I was like, those hearts, all five of them are perfect. So I grabbed them. For a craft that I haven't done yet, right? Like you do. Um, I did find a bunch of face masks and this is the one that I picked up recently. This is from Spa Life. It's facial treatment. So there's step one, facial treatment, anti-aging hydrating serum. Step two, it's a three-step system. And then step three is day or night boost serum. So I'm assuming the mask, oh yeah, the mask is step two. So you get a like a, a serum, a mask, and then a nighttime mask. And you do these before bed. 
hats. I love these. I grabbed some of those, one of those. And then this OK Korean Beauty brand, I got this sleep mask and I like it. It does have a bit of a perfumey scent to it, but it hasn't seemed to irritate my skin. This is my second bottle. You don't get a lot in here, um, but for a dollar, and this is name brand, I found these some of these beauty things on Ulta as well as on um, Amazon. So I grabbed that one for me. Here's another one, okay. This is a day serum or night serum and I love it. I have been using this every day and it's been feeling nice on my skin. That's what it looks like. And you get a fair amount in here. It's 30 mLs or one fluid ounce. And I saw this on the Ulta website for um, $15. 15, 14, something like that. I like it. So I grabbed a second bottle. I'm not going to stock up too much, but, and then this is from Sunday Rain Energizing Body Serum, vanilla coffee with coffee and vanilla extract. So we're going to try that next. So I have this serum, just testing out different serums to see which ones I like. And if I can pay a dollar and not $15, I'm on board. And I tend to get my wrinkles here and I need to pay attention to my neck. But after losing 80, almost 90 pounds, you get wrinkly. So I think I'm doing good. Like I'm plumping up here. Plus I'm dry. I have dry skin. It's a thing. Um, in the crafter sec or the Valentine section, I grabbed these little white hearts. I saw on Instagram or Pinterest, somebody did white, like white hearts with those, um, rosewood hearts and some other white things so i thought i like that i like white so i grabbed those for no particular reason other than i like them oh i did find one for me one for sarah the pink lip scrub i have one other one this one is a backup because i do enjoy it but it does have an essence of rose to it just so you know it doesn't taste like rose but it you get a smell of rose <laughs> like a smell of rose so i grabbed one for sarah's basket and one for me because i like her um, I also picked up this beauty mask. This is from Mask Bar. And I do not believe this is a Greenbrier product, but this is a blue glitter peel off mask, nourishing, soothing, and illuminating. I have been obsessed with doing masks at night. I did a foot mask, I did a face mask, and now, oh, wait, where'd it go? I have a hand mask we're gonna try. Now this is April showers or April spa april bath and shower that's a hand mask we'll try it the foot mask from this brand i enjoyed it did good and this has nourishing softening uplifting my hands are dry my nails are breaking so we're gonna try it this is a green briar so we'll see maybe tonight i'll slather on some masky stuff Four. okay i'm back i plugged you in i think you're charging we'll know in a minute all right, so that way it's better to plug you in than rush through it. I found some more of these rocks in these super pretty colors. And these are pebbles. And it just says decorative accent. It is a Greenbrier product. You get a fair amount. Um, you can use these in terrariums. You can use them in anything. But what I'm going to do is use them as plant toppers for when I... Um, this spring when I repot some of my succulents, I like to put the decorative rock on top. So I grabbed some more. So I have two bags, that should be plenty. I found these little sheepies. Aren't they adorable in the Easter section? It's a craft kit that you can decorate them to make them look like that girl right there. But, and I will decorate them, but I probably will use them for spring because I love little sheepies and I love the white aesthetic. So I grabbed those just for, you know, a little decor. Ooh, speaking of spring, I found these succulents. Aren't they pretty? So I got that teal color. I got this purpley color and this yellow. And these are 100% getting tucked into my tiered tray come springtime because I think those scream spring. So I'll just, Take the tag off, you know, and just slide them in in between some stuff for a little pop of color. I definitely need to start a box that just has tiered tray stuff in it, I think. I think that's what I need to do. Uh, speaking of my tiered tray for spring, I grabbed this Easter egg. I love these. 
I, I don't typically keep them because they're a mess. Um, especially like in my garage, but for a dollar, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna use this to decorate my tray or the tray behind me or my mantle, I'll put that away later, or something for Easter, but I love the size that they are and they make, you can hang them, but I feel like they make good decor just to sit out. You can get, they come in all different colors, but I found this blue is just striking. I enjoy it and I didn't need a hundred of them. I do have tons of spring and Easter decor, but I don't think I have any of that. I found, okay. I have hauled these before and you, these are the exact same size and I'm take, opening this while we talk. These are the exact same size as the um, Happy Planner Micro. The little tiny ones from the Happy Planner. These are the exact size of that. Um, Okay, I need you to open for me. They fit in my planner, so the the, the um, spacing is exactly the same as well. Why are we stuck? Why are you stuck? Oh, it wasn't all the way pulled out. Okay, um, this one says Wild at Heart. It's cute, I like it, but that's not why I bought it. Can we talk about the black paper? And I know we've talked about my obsession with black paper before and using my white pen. And what is perfect, yes, I can keep this in the notebook. I will write myself notes, but then I can pull them out just like that. They just pop out. And then this can pop into my big planner as my reminder notes for whatever I need. So I can just keep them here, right? You just keep them. That's how the happy planner works. It's a disc system. So like... And you see the little thing and then you just pop everything back in if you've never seen a happy planner or what a disc system does but these little notebooks are all interchangeable or quite frankly you could get a couple use the little discs and make something larger i do have the hole punch i just wanted the black paper if we're being truthful so i got two <laughs> because i want black paper i love black paper and writing with my white um my white gel pens I love it. And silver writes good on the black paper. Just saying. So I grabbed those. These will just go in my door in my drawer with all my um planner stuff. Because each week I like to, you know, give myself some plans. I write down my to-do list and whatnot. I can write it on this, put it in the planner, and then take it out when I'm done. And that's what I like about the happy planner. Um, I found these lace socks. I took them out of the package to try them on. I, I'm not sure what adult is wearing this. Um, I got it on my foot, but it wasn't going to stay. So I wear an eight and a half. I do lean to the whole wider side. So if you wear like a seven, seven and a half, even an eight narrow, that might work for you. If not, please don't waste your money. I did it for you. They're trash. I'm throwing them away because I'm not wasting dollars on that again. Um, I found for myself a keto cookbook at the Dollar Tree as well. Now I have several cookbooks, but it's always nice to look through other people's ideas of keto and get some fresh, you know, fresh recipes. The rest, the cookbooks I have are by one specific author. So it's nice to have this as well. And it comes with beautiful pictures and all the things. So I grabbed that for one shiny dollar. I picked this book up and it was definitely more than a dollar. It's a knitting pattern book for hats of all kinds, which I love. So you get a pattern and you get a picture and, ooh, let's go back to that. Not that. Oh, look at that. It's a hat and scarf combo. They're calling it a hooded scarf. So yeah, these are fun. And these are, I believe these are all knitted, but some could be crochet. I didn't really look that closely into it. Oh yeah, this is, some of them are crochet. And some of them are knitting. So they're both knitting and crocheting. And it's just a whole book of hats. How fun is that? And for $1... I'm always looking for hat patterns to use up, you know, scraps of yarn or whatnot. So I think these are pretty cool. And they have directions in the back if you don't know how to do it. I do get a lot of questions. I knit. I'm not a big crocheter, although I do crochet like blankets and scarves, but that's it. Um, but I'm a knitter. 
All right, and the last, last thing I picked up was some yarn. Do I need more yarn? Absolutely not. However, this is crafting yarn, not knitting yarn. So when I talk about yarn in my bedroom and or my craft room and the yarn that I have to knit with, that's all wool blend and it's expensive and I'm not crafting with it for sure. That is knitting yarn. Um, this is acrylic, although it's so soft. It's so pretty, but do not those colors scream Valentine's to you. I'm gonna do a little DIY maybe this weekend and show you what I plan to do with these. Um, these are the chunky weight yarn, so chunky, thicker than worsted. But I'm telling you, I would make a hat out of this and wear it. It's not offensive at all. And these are 50 gram balls. Now, because this is a chunky weight, you're getting, oh, this is a 60 gram ball, you get 82 yards. Uh, 50 gram ball, I think you get like 96 yards or something, but anyway, I'm using it for crafting. I loved this color combination, and I think it's gonna be perfect for Valentine's Day for what I want to do with it. So I will create a DIY showing you, but any yarn will work. Any weight, any color, any whatever you have, if you have, Cheap yarn, expensive yarn, if you're willing to do this craft with your wool, you go for it. I am not, but I am definitely willing to do it with Dollar Tree yarn. All right, that is it for my regular Dollar Tree haul this week. Now, I will recommend that you watch my next Dollar Tree haul because there might be a giveaway in it. I'm just saying. Um, and if you won the other giveaway, which I did make the announcement, I have mailed out the packages. Five packages went out in the mail today. So you should get them this week. Today, well, no, they went out. Today is Saturday for me. They went out on Saturday. So you should have them by Friday of this week. Alrighty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk with you later.